Hello, today I'm gonna show you how to make a quick sketch of a cup of tea or a cup of coffee perhaps. Either way, I'm gonna assume that you know the basics of Krita, such as layers, selection techniques, you're familiar with the brushes and these fundamental stuff. If you're totally new to the digital stuff, no worries, there is a great Krita introduction series by Grant Abbott, links in the description box. Without further ado, let's get started. Start off by drawing a rough ellipse. There are two more below. Doesn't have to be precise. Now add a rough curve on each side. One here. And one right over there. And I'm going to sketch over a couple of time in order to slightly polish it. Two couple more about the ellipses. And you might have noticed it's starting to take shape. Now, I don't know about you, but if your lines is starting to look ugly, because I won't deny it, I tend to press pretty hard. So that's you, don't worry about it. We're going to clean up the mess via erasing in a moment. Alrighty, the mid ellipse can go. Rub it off either with your pen eraser if available, or hit E in Krita to activate erase mode. Hit E again to go back to brush mode. Now, I absolutely love pen eraser because it's darn powerful, highly intuitive, and the realistic experience is simply amazing. But, unfortunately, it lacks precision, like in this situation. So, here I'm going to hit E to activate erase mode. And use my regular pen to eliminate the fine details like so. Now, obviously, as you can see, some lines got accidentally wiped off. So, no problem. Gonna sketch over again, like so. And we got a couple of dirty spots, so let's clean them up too. So far so good, but wait, where is the tea? Cup looks pretty empty, so let's fix that. All you have to do is draw an ellipse on the top, something uh, like this, and just erase to get rid of the ugly intersection. There you go, nice liquid. I think my cup looks a bit too long, so I will hit Ctrl plus T to activate transform mode. Scale it down just a bit. Hit enter to confirm. And that should fix it. Hit B to go back to brush mode if necessary. Next, let's sketch the saucer. Make one major ellipse around the button. And immediately make a minor ellipse just inside it. Next, rub off the intersection. Not bad, not bad. But it look too dark to be honest. Because again, I tend to press pretty hard when I hold a pencil. Bad habit I know. So what I'm gonna do is gently rub it off. Not delete it. Slowly until it's pretty faint. Okay, stop. That's enough. Then I'm gonna sketch over lightly this time. Uh oh, my hand is getting shaky. So let me undo that quick. I will make a full quick ellipse. There. That's another reason why I keep telling you it's okay for your circles and lines to cross over. 
otherwise you are more likely to get shaky lines as you can see who cares if the lines circle cross each other you can always erase at any time you know and besides you are in the sketch phase so don't worry too much about it so that's a pro tip for you and when you're happy rinse and repeat until you're satisfied with the shape now then i think we're pretty much done good job if you made it this far but let's take a look at reference just to make sure oh bummer i forgot the handle so let's finish it i believe the blockings consist of a rough kidney like uh, ellipse i would say and for god's sake let's make it light this time don't do my mistake and one little baby ring over there and a rough number probably seven like a c curve like so and i believe we just captured the essence blocking phase finished and yeah we're pretty much uh, done here all is left is to polish and refine it like before now since there's nothing new to discuss and share with you at this point i'm going to speed up the video and here is my end result spend some time polishing yours i encourage you to experiment for fun go ahead get creative see if you can aim for your favorite starbucks ceramic cup maybe go for that luxurious uh, luxury pristine turkish ceramic cup you wanted uh, to buy someday have fun you're welcome to reach me out on my socials link in the description box and share your creation i would love to see yours thanks for watching Thanks for your time and you have a great day.